Hello there folks, my name is Spooks and welcome back to another episode of Box Office Chat. This is the show where I break down the top 5 domestic box office results, see where each movie landed and see what each movie did, so let's get started. Number 5 was Babylon, making $2.6 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of $10 million, and that total stays the same worldwide as it has not been released in any international countries as of yet. So while the film had a really strong hold, just falling 28% from last weekend, it is not even close in any way, shape, or form to helping this movie out. The film still has a rather large budget, and it has only made like a 16th of that back unfortunately word of mouth is not doing this movie any favors this movie did not receive that awards buzz bump that i think paramount was hoping this movie would receive and unfortunately it's becoming quite one of the biggest failures of the year so far and just another big flop overall unfortunately Hopefully it does reach its audience in the future, maybe due to the success of uh, Blu-ray, DVD, digital, or streaming, but as of right now, this movie is not doing so hot. I don't think it will be in the top five for much longer, unfortunately, and yeah, not much else to say here. Babylon's just sadly not doing it right now. Number four was I Want to Dance with Somebody, making $3.9 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of $15 million and a worldwide total of $28 million. So I thought this would be one of the movies that actually increased from the previous weekend, as you'll see with many of the other films in the top five, but back on to Whitney Houston. Uh, as last weekend, I thought, you know, it had a lot of beneficial factors going for it the fact that music biopics were doing really well and there was some interest for it and certainly audiences have been liking a lot got that a cinema score rating but while it didn't have a drastic drop off it had an 18 percent decrease which is still a very solid hold and it's not quite the disaster of babylon it is still not meeting expectations unfortunately i i thought you know maybe with those factors it could benefit and as well as the storm passing maybe more people would rush out to see it but i guess not unfortunately i guess not as nearly as much people as I thought were really interested in seeing this movie. However, like I said before, this is not a disaster like Babylon, as the film costed only $45 million to make, and it's already made half of that back worldwide, so at the very least, it should surpass its initial budget very soon. Doubling it, that's probably going to be a different story, but as for right now, in terms of making its budget back, I think that's in the bag for sure. It's not going to get there uh, super soon, but certainly in the near future. But yeah, still, given that this is a huge music biopic based on the life of one of the greatest singers of all time, Whitney Houston, and especially in the year when Elvis completely surpassed all expectations. I had higher expectations going for this movie, but unfortunately, this movie's just not doing it, unfortunately. Again, not a disaster, but it could have done better. Number three was Black Panther Wakanda Forever, making $4.8 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of $439 million and a worldwide total of $820 million. Now here's a movie that increased from last weekend. As you remember, Black Panther Wakanda Forever fell out of the top five last weekend due to the Christmas holidays and the number of releases, but surprisingly enough, it was able to swing back into the top five, so much so that it landed at number three which is incredible to believe and it also had one of the biggest increases in the top five increasing 38 percent from last weekend which is incredible and who knows this might lead to a resurgence in popularity for the film since january seems to be very lackluster in terms of new wide releases and this film from what i've heard isn't supposed to come out on disney plus until like late january early february i'm not too sure on the exact date but it's around that range or something but yeah i, I was very surprised and pleased to see this movie return into the top five who knows if this movie will again spark a resurgence maybe cross a couple more milestones but yeah it's nice to see this movie back we'll see where it leads into and uh uh, yeah, good job, Black Panther. Number two was Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, making $16 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of $66 million and a worldwide total of $136 million. 
yet another film in the top five that had a huge increase from last weekend with this one increasing 35 percent over the previous weekend which is fantastic to see and also met my expectations unlike with the whitney houston movie i just knew that due to the storm and the holidays those were like the big big detriments to this film but thankfully due to the strong word of mouth and the weather getting better more and more people are starting to see this movie and this movie is reaping the the rewards for it obviously in terms of the domestic side of things it is less than 40 million away from surpassing 100 million dollars domestically and is on its way to surpassing its initial 80 to 90 million dollar budget which it should do very soon and worldwide it has already reached those milestones and is just 50 million away less than or so from doubling its initial 80 to 90 million dollar budget which again i think this movie will be able to do so yes folks the film is definitely starting to pick up the pace it's certainly going to become one of the bigger more successful animated films of the year given the strong word of mouth and how it is very strong counter programming against the other big movie which we'll get to very soon and as well as the fact that it is going to be the only animated family film playing in theaters until april so once again plenty of time for this movie to do well have strong legs and just be a genuine box office hit which this movie is starting to do so now so yes definitely a much better sign of things to come for this movie i'm very happy that this movie was able to have a much better second weekend we'll see where it goes from here but i think only things can really go up from this point on for puss in boots the last wish job well done and finally, let's end the video off with the number one movie of the weekend, which was still Avatar The Way of Water, making $66 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of $446 million and a worldwide total of $1.4 billion. So folks, let's break this down. This was the last film in the top three to have any sort of increase from last weekend, and while it wasn't as big as the previously mentioned film that only increased 6% from last weekend, the fact that this movie was able to increase at all is just absolutely insane and still push this movie to new heights it is now become the second biggest movie of the year both domestically and worldwide and in terms of worldwide is it is rush it is roughly only a couple hundred thousand dollars behind top gun maverick and given the time this video comes out and how quickly it is behind that film i think it's safe to say that avatar will or has already become the highest grossing film of the year worldwide and who is honestly surprised at this point just look how well it has done so far domestically on the other hand that is an interesting story and i gotta be honest i feel like it's still gonna come second to top gun mainly because top gun had the advantage of coming out in the summer when more people were more available and it had the stronger legs compared to avatar of course and seeing as this movie is in the winter uh not as many people are available or willing to go out to the movie theater but still uh the fact that this movie get, will get r remotely close to the to top gun's entire domestic total is very impressive and still this movie has just done leaps and bounds of what many people expected did it to do in regards to its opening weekend which again i called uh the opening weekend wasn't going to be spectacular but its legs sure were and this movie is proving me right ever more so the fact that this movie is just like less than 60 million away from 500 million dollars domestically and is going to surpass top gun maverick by the time this video comes out worldwide is insane and incredible to believe just the incredible word of mouth and how many people are still rushing to go see this movie is insane and uh, like i said earlier in the video january is pretty barren right now except for one movie which we'll get into very soon uh it but otherwise that movie it looks like avatar is going to dominate all of january pretty much it it 
it, there's literally no other movie people want to see outside of you know like puss in boots and maybe black panther but yeah this movie continues to do well it's dominating uh the box office right now and it's going to continue to do so for quite some time so yeah another solid weekend for avatar uh i am both surprised and unsurprised by its success and i am still looking forward to seeing where it goes from here and those were your top five domestic box office results for this weekend but we're not quite done yet as we've got another week ahead of us and new movies hitting theaters and this weekend we have our first new wide release of the year that being megan this is a new horror film about a doll that's powered by AI with a task to, of protecting a little girl from any physical or emotional harm. I know, what could go wrong, am I right? But surprisingly, something goes horribly wrong and the doll goes on a killing spree while also having fabulous dance moves. Now, while I don't think this movie is going to surpass Avatar this weekend, I gotta be honest, I think this movie's gonna start 2023 off with a pretty decent start. Horror films this year, or as I should rather say, this past year, have had a pretty solid winning streak. Many of the horror films were really successful, and this doesn't look to be any different. The marketing so far has been excellent. I've been seeing tons of promotion and ads for it all over the place, and even the promotional stunts they've done for this movie, like hiring a bunch of dancers to dress like Megan and perform a dance at public events like the world premiere of the movie, Universal City, Ho City Walk, and even the most recent nfl chargers rams games it's all been really creative and the buzz has also been very strong i've been hearing plenty of people talking about this movie saying how excited they are to see this movie so yeah while i don't think this is going to be a blockbuster opening weekend i expect pretty solid things for megan i think it's going to start things off on a high note but we'll see how well this movie truly does as well as the rest of the movies that land in the top five on the next box office chat and that's gonna do it for this week's episode of box office chat what did you all think of the results were you satisfied unsatisfied comment down below and let me know if you like this video hit the like button if you like this channel hit the subscribe button follow me on all the social media links right there and until next time everyone stay sharp